there in the Telegraph had it on in December. But they, I mean, you've got to, the problems are sort of <coughs> made bigger because you, the tourism season is on its way, isn't it? Yeah, it's already here. So we've got a lot of tourists and, um, you know, it's a catch 22. We can't afford not to have the tourists because we need the income for the um, economy. It's a huge source of income. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same token, you know, a lot of the tourists are not um, fully not, and I'm not going to make a sweeping statement. It's not all tourists, but there are some tourists who would come here and feel, you know, we've spent the money to come here and we'll have a bath because we feel we're entitled to it. Mm. Um, you know, I mean, ba bathing yeah. in a, in a bath is just a luxury that we've had to done away with for some time already. In fact, we're not allowed to do it. Um, I mean, if, if our allocation is 87 liters per person per day, an average bathtub is about 240 liters of water. So there you go. You know, you've taken more than your share of water if you had a bath. Yeah, wow. And, and talk, talking to that point, uh, the Indian cricket, this is directly to the point, and we're talking about tourists, uh, the Indian cricket team is in Cape Town at the moment. And yes. they've been told, this is, this is a story which brings home globally is that they've been told to shower for only two minutes wow yeah well that is that is basically our allocation we're not allowed to have a shower for more than two minutes because if you showered for more than two minutes you would basically exceed your allocation for the day because you've got to divide your allocation between doing your laundry your cooking um you know water for the toilet everything else so you can't use your allocation for a shower. Then you, you know, you can't wash your clothes. You can't cook. You can't do anything else.